working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of What Horror. Yeah, give them a profile shot. Yeah, I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> find the camera. I want everybody to know we've been waiting on him. I ran a little late. Ran a little late. A Sorry, little my, late. My, my, I didn't have a, my alarm clock didn't go off. You told me they didn't wake you up. Now, which one was? <laughs> well, whatever lie you want, we'll go with that lie. Go ahead. Hey, whatever I, lies better, go ahead. What we got? Hell, I ain't got no choice but to just believe in one. Whatever. <laughs> just whatever Tommy, lie you Tommy want. Tommy calls and says, my alarm clock didn't go off. Don't do the show until I get no, there. No, do not do it until I get there. Yeah, no, and yeah. then here he comes. Did you get any tickets? No, uh, no, we didn't get pulled over, thank God. Well, I tell you what, we got a good show today. I mean, a good one. Got some good, some announce, uh, some good announcements. Things, but before we do that. Snapwood delivered. I know. We're going to talk about Snapwood. $700,000 worth. Oh, my God. But Go ahead. Before we do, yeah. we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and we'll be right back. Go. How's that? Perfect. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. Come on, come all, that's the motto at the new Feed for All store on Highway 64 East. Feed for All is family owned and operated by Christy and Eddie Guthrie along with their son Joe. This family will be available to serve your daily needs for all your agriculture animal feeds. Their goal is to provide feed in bulk or by the bag wherever it is needed and will always be a phone call away. Christy and Eddie have always been very selective in the quality of the feed their animals were fed and their satisfaction with the Feed for All product products is their guarantee you will be satisfied as well. Watch your horses come running when you break out the Feed for All horse feed. Give Feed for All a call today at 931-492-4609 or stop by their store located at 2392 Highway 64 East in Shelbyville, Tennessee and pick up a load of feed today. Joe is ready to load it for you. Uh, feed for All! So good! More of What a Horse coming up. Welcome back. I do have some announcements. You know what? Go ahead. All right. I'm with you. February the, the 5th is going to be the, uh, or J uh, March the 5th is going to be. No, February the 5th. No, the Judges Clinic. Okay. It, it's this Saturday. Right. All right. At the, uh, starts at 9 o'clock. You can call Rachel at the office, 931-684-9506. Show HO. Right. Yeah. Now, what you was looking at is our good buddy, Sonny Shrivener passed loved, away. Loved him. I mean, you couldn't beat Sonny. Oh, my, oh, my God. God. Fun. I, and, and I just, had more um, good conversations with him. He'd always sit down and talk to me for a minute. Do you know why? You know how he met his wife? Yeah. She left her riding pants at the house, and he had, he had a car 
that could go get them, and he picks her the keys. That's how it happened. Yeah, she did, know, she forgot her. That. He told she me. forgot her riding pants. That's how that happened. And he got her. I, well, they showed a picture of him fixing her hair so she could show. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah. March the fifteenth, the Blue Ribbon Room. They're going to have celebration of life for Sonny. We'll be there. And everybody needs to be there. That's Absolutely. That, that is something to remember. Yeah. Tommy Hall with Woe retiring at the end of the year. Hard to believe. He'll be missed. So That's who's taking sure. over? I don't know. I don't know. Here's some other things that are going on. Heart of Dixie will be March 11th and the 12th. Yeah. Uh, Spencer Benedict. Coat preview. Coat party. Everybody's going. All of them are going. 16th through the 19th yeah. is the trainer show, which later on in this program, I have got a real good interview with Carlisle Johnson. Good. I tell you what, he is uh, he, he, he is something else. He, he is really he's a, working He's a vet me. pharmacist. I know. I mean, well, he started he vet Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely. Uh, what else is it? Uh, a new show, April 23rd. We just talked about this. The Extravaganza. Yeah. Can't wait. And uh, on 23rd, yeah, I just watched. I watched the video this morning. <laughs> I should I should have copied it, but I didn't. Allie Joe Jacobs picking out the feet of a horse. Oh God! And she was fixing to get the back feet, and her mother said, "Whoa, wait a minute, Daddy better do that." <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, these do it. Kids, yeah, these, really. She will do anything. Well, I mean, she she is. A, you know, she's not. She's a smart little cookie. Hey, see, she, there's nothing short about her, buddy. She gets in there. i tell you what I really like about it, though. It was back, and this was a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, well, it was back when she was lead line. Yeah. They told me that they had to say, we cannot park this pony out anymore because we're going to park him out so much because they wanted to practice all well, course, day, yeah. every day. Yeah. I mean, she's ready to go. Don't tell me. She is a, you know, what was shocking about me to her, uh, and I'm, I'm kind of ashamed to admit it, for her to go from what she did to riding like she does, she rides like Allison Dawson. I, I mean, immediately. She was you out about it, too, didn't she? Yeah, she got on me bad at the horse show. She said, <laughs> you, you, you left Allison out of something. Well, we did show Allison Tannery. Ah. But anyway, she is an equitator. That girl will win equitation. Oh, hey, she she win equitation. She she just uh, she just Look, goes at it. I mean, she she rides Cohan. Hey, she champ of the world. Little old, I I, I couldn't you. I couldn't ride Cohan. I mean, I can't you sit on it. You couldn't put rocks in all of her pockets no. to give her a suitcase in her way a hundred pounds. I can't ride, I couldn't ride Hulk Coham. They'd have to just coach me around the ring. <laughs> she sits on Coham like he's nothing. Hey, she, she, uh, she had Lee, good kid. Lee Stewart's a good, good instructor. Oh. And, and I'm telling you now. Ask she, Allison uh, Thorson about Lee. I mean, Allison mm, Thorson, yep. Thor Sport. Oh, I know. That's uh, the whole deal. Look, she, she just something else, but that little girl's got a heart. Now but she buddy, she got a she spine too. She can sit down she, on that horse. She, she wants to get it going. What else we got? Oh, oh yeah, I tell you what we're going to talk about. Go. We're going to show some in, some auction horses in a minute, but something very important. Yeah. We talked about the HPA last week. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of research, and, okay. and we're, I'm going to have a report ready for next week because there were some committees. To where after they had the meetings, everything, two of the veterinarians that said, "Yeah, we've seen all this stuff," had never seen a horse. Of course, I mean, never worked on a horse. I mean, stuff like that. But I was also told the other day that the HPA was actually a bill for uh, used as a uh, horse protection. Hold on, hold on, Papa. Act. Let me tell you, the last guy before whatever. Mm -hmm. He was a expert in sugar gliders no, no. that were lizards. <laughs> no. Okay, no. that's that's where we're headed. I've been I've been told so many different stories. No, I, no, that's a fact. Hey, I, I he, he was an expert in lizards. I don't, they, what what gets me, and, and I'm going to get a report on this mm -hmm. next week. They're coming in with all with new technology this year, mm -hmm. but every year they come in with a different motive. Mm -hmm. And but the, well, the motive stays the same. They just a different avenue. 
But when you go and you continuously bring up things to attack an industry mm. that you are supposed to be helping. An advocate. And you're They're not supposed, supposed to be advocate for. I know. You're not supposed to interfere, but you do. You're correct. And they train our DQPs. This is what shot me. They're the ones that train them. I know. They train them and certify them. But when you look at what they do when they come to a show, one or two things. Either the USDA comes in and they are falsifying what they're finding, or their training methods suck. One well, I mean, it's like me running into Walmart looking for 14 flavors of salad dressing. I don't, what I know, <laughs> all I know is I may take that one, I may take that one, I don't know what I'm going to take. So that's what you do. Look at here. Oh, no. yeah, all right, all right. Let me tell you what they shown, did. We've shown this video okay. a lot. But Let me what, tell you what, what they did, did recently. They went to a Inwood show, mm. and they unloaded seven DQPs at the Inwood show. It's probably training now. Well, that's what they were doing. Because the Inwood uh, lady I know on the board told me, said, Tommy, they come in there four deep. I mean, they look like... You know, I got that big black Escalade. Yeah. Yeah. They came in with four of them big oh, black Escalades. Well, normally when they come, they come like gangbusters. But mm -hmm. my point is this. Mm -hmm. If there is 30% difference when the USDA is there right. than when the DQPs right. are inspecting. Yes. And now I've talked to two different people that stepped down from this board or yeah. from the DQPs because right. of the action. Both of them, from what I was told, they got tired of being forced to do something they knew was not right. Best thing we got, you, bet, you know what's the best thing we got right now? Tim Hatfield. Yep. Tim Hatfield. Tim Hatfield. He, he is standing up. Listen, Tim and, Hatfield and is straight up. Curtis uh, Pittman is yep. straight up. Tim Hatfield, Curtis Pittman have done more for the Walnuts business than Jose Jose. Yep. Man, you know, hey. don't tell David that. No, I, won't, I, won't. I won't tell him. I won't but Tim Hatfield is, hey, is you, the guy. You said, you said David. <laughs> Alabama Jubilee. Here we go. The auxiliary from Alabama. Yeah. Every year they have a auction. They haven't been able to have it this year. Right. David Williams with Sugar Creek stood up. Put it on the website. Said, said yeah. hey, we'll have an auction. And here's and the, what uh, they're doing. And these wonderful people. Okay, go ahead. We got no, a new no, one today. Hey. Flip them. Let's go. Show them. All right. This is Jenna Wynn. This is uh, Blaze Bacard. Yep. You know, when she's not hard to look at. No. no. The horse ain't either. No, but boy, she sure ain't. Well, here. Listen to this. Jenna oh, Wynn. Playing. Go ahead. We got a Jenna Wynn, Walk Time Charlie, Jose's Revival, Jenna Mighty, Jimmy Chu, I'm Mayhem. He's Slim Shady, Deal For Real, Bravo, Master Bravo. of Jazz. Great model. Honors. I think Bravo, I am has, a, Bravo has a tender account. I am Jose. Yeah. They call me John Wayne. Boy, Gordon. Dude. You ever seen him? Yeah, big white. David owns him. He bought him. Cool Allen Jackson. David bought him. General Gunn. Uh, Brandon Tate. Hero. Uh, Spencer. Rich and Dangerous. Jack Way. Jimmy Frederick. David. Jimmer, rather. Jose, it ain't so. If I done did that one. Lesher Burns no. is in uh, Cottonwood. Yep. Omaha. Cottonwood. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, Omaha is in uh, Spencer. Spencer. Playing Gin. Sugar Creek. Commander in Chief. Sugar Creek. Star of Ritz. Sugar Creek. Dixie Lineman. Uh, Beverly. Memphis Blues. David. Perfect Hall. Uh, uh, Somewhere. Carrie Benedict. <laughs> Titleist. You ain't gonna be able 20, to look. At, you're, Twenty-eight. You're not gonna be able to look at Tylus. Uh You can stare at him with a, like a <laughs> telescope. As long as you stay away from the gate. No, <laughs> you, you're back there. Hey, hey, he don't like he, you. He ain't on the tour. No. I think the only one that can handle him is the is the groom out there. And he don't like him either. No, you can't. No, Tylus is different. He has his own special deal. So well, does. they. Here we go. Walk right, time, Charlie. Charlie. Watch him. He's by Lima Cash and now Silver Dollar Mare. And believe it or not, that Silver Dollar Mare, she's a little chubby thing. A little black, little black Silver Dollar chubby mare. Well, I'm just uh, going to say Rocky, so far. Rocky McCoy starred him. Chad, Chad Bauckham, look at him. You know, that, oh, that makes me tear up. Chad Bauckham was such, that was one of the finest men alive. Hey, he's a super oh, good Oh, dude. my God, I love him. 
Well, so far they have raised eighteen thousand six hundred and fifty dollars. We're gonna they raise. They said they was hoping for twenty. No, we're gonna, gonna raise fifty. Hey, hey, Watch me. I'm on it. Away. Paige Edwards, love her. Paige Edwards and me and uh, Keith McSwain donated an honors fee this Today? morning. Yep. Call down there and they, they popped them in there. Popped it. They jumped we in. Got our am Jose in there too. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tell you, things are going to pick up. They're going to pick this. up and they're going to pick up big time. Revival. Here he is, Jose's Revival. Guess who I saw this weekend? Who? His brother. Is that right? They had him at Jimbo's, or David's got him. But Jimbo, they had him up at Jimbo, the full brother, and he brought $100,000 at Chris Elliott's sale. Everybody said, I didn't bring that. I've seen the check. Mm. And so Chris and I talked yesterday. And he said, where's the next $100,000 yearling? I said, I got it. I just sit tight. But Revival's brother is uh, better than him. You see how good he is right there? Oh, he's unbelievable. All right, this colt that they got up there at Snapwood is better than him. Believe it or not. Well, Bob Silver. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. And yep. this is my personal opinion. Yep. Everybody out there that has been thinking yep. about buying a stud fee. I strongly, strongly encourage you to get in on this because you're going it's gonna be twofold. Well it's a Number it's one, a it's a right, it helps you're, people. You're gonna get you a good stud fee and you're gonna help mm -hmm. the Alabama Auxiliary do what they do best and that is raise funds for Camp Smile a Mile. Look at this one. You can't who are you looking at, the horse or the, or the rider? No, yeah, Jimmy tipping that hat to that crowd, Jen Oh, yeah. You, you, here's the story here. He said that morning he was going to do it. He I, did. He said, tell I'm going to win it. I cried like a baby. Let me tell you why. Because Mike Floyd owns a horse, and Mike Floyd's mother was my kid's bus driver. Is that she, right? Yes. <laughs> she drove a school bus to the day she died. And I called my, I was Christy McCarter, hand on the phone, Jimmy. That horse was owned by a son, or a lady who drove a school bus every day all of her life. Well, Mike Floyd's a construction dude, and he, but well, he's a good, but I Thelma, didn't know this. Her name, I went is, out her name is Thelma Floyd, and she drove a school bus every day. Now her horse, uh, now that her. Horse, that horse's neck up at the top is that thick. Yeah, now her <laughs> husband was a, Bazillion there, but she never stopped driving that school bus. And so that was won by a son of a woman, Thelma Floyd, that what drove a school bus. I, I'm broke, flatter than a pancake, but no, I mean, I'm not going to stop doing it. Ray that. Floyd is like a gazillion. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. 671. I tell you, right now it's time to get one of these. Love this one. Right, this is, these are some good ones. Have you seen this horse out here at the yes. farm? He's good. Real but good. But look at his color. All right, this is Karen Bean's horse. And Jimmy Chew, he's out there, David. He got him. But he's wider now, so his, he, all right, here, there's a difference. He's a lot lighter. Well, there's a difference. He is black roan, so his mane and tail is black and black and black stockings. He's not actually what they call roan. Well, he's, you see his black head? So he has black head, black legs, black tail, black mane. That's different from my other kind of roan. And I'm not so sure he's not homozygous in that, which means he'll throw it every time. But boy, he can walk. Well, I tell you what, he, he can Jackie walk. Jackie Chan. He, he's, he's beautiful. His beautiful. brother is Jackie Chan. Karen Bean out there on uh, Snell Road. I know. Right? Look at that. Pretty, I mean, he's out there at the farm now. I saw him yesterday. And it has more personality than, you know, you do. Or Jimmy Fuller. Probably. Jimmy ain't got no personality. Watch this one. They got to on everybody else. Slim Shady. Whoa. -ho -ho. Hey. Slim Shady and Lee McGardland. Oh, uh, there was two of them. All right, so I called Jimmy one time. And I said, what do you got? He said, I got two that are great. Shady and Black and Slim Shady. Unfortunately, uh, Nightshade, the father, died early, and uh, just out of a, 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 a very uh, feeding mistake, I think, yeah. they didn't feed him right. Feed him right kind of hay, and Jimmy watched everything he did. Is that Lee McCart? Lee on there. Oh yeah, that's Lee. All right, look here. 
All right, Karen Bean owns this horse, too. Slim Shady. She does now. Yeah. Sunset Shady, the little pony out of him, mm -hmm. ungodly. Love him. That's a great, that's a great horse right there. Right now is ideal time for people to uh -oh. get them a good, deal a for good, real. good thing. Deal for real is proof that a wonderful Jewish man will sell one for a million dollars. I'm going to tell you, this he right did, here. Bob Pollock sold him to uh, Arthur for one million dollars. Well, I'm going to tell you, out of all the studs, this one right here. Love him. He's got them flat shot. He's ah. got a performance. He, he, you name it, he's got them. He's got them on the trail. He, everywhere. Now, this is Joel Weaver on him, okay? Yeah. His son, Lake Weaver. Okay. Now, Joel's a great trainer. Lake Weaver is 14 times better trainer than his daddy. His daddy was great. Deal for real. They can get it done. All right, so. Well, he's got a lot of training. So, Eichler calls Bob Pollock up. What do you want for your horse? He said, you know, I don't want to sell him, but I'll take a million. Well, guess what? I'll give it. He signed it. All right, here's well, this. When, when this, nobody this, could sell him now, anything, right, it now, was, watch it's this one of his. This is the best looking Tennessee walking horse alive. His name is Bravo. David wanted him bad, 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 bad. Uh, Tommy, you have said that about just about every horse. No, but he really alive. wanted this one. <laughs> Look at it. He is. He's great. I think he's got a tender account. But what a, every one of them can't be Look the at, best one alive. No, this one. No, I'm probably like pretty. <laughs> pretty. He's, he's just pretty. Hey, you like I am. I like him. I like him. But, but everyone every right, you this like one, is the best one alive. All right, this one over here is at Dr. Wright's. So Dr. Wright and him have Master Jazz. There's Jimmy riding again. Now Jimmy's going to cut my head off. But Sonny Holtz won to start this one. Jimmy is going to be on the majority of these horses. Yeah, right, but that horse was, uh, Sonny Holtz, the one kind of got him to the forefront. And of course, Jimmy will call me next week and say, Tommy, you shouldn't have said that. Well, okay. guess what? Sonny Holt did bring that one. Sonny Holt was the one that kind of made that horse a big deal. But he was champion yeah, of the world. Yeah, but only Jimmy could get him to walk out of the ribbon. Yeah. I mean, he went on walk that last so much round. What we got here? Ah, Bay Rodney Hall. Dick. Remember that night, buddy. I remember that Great night. Great horse. Watch him. The crowd, he, you know, he already, they loved him. Well, he'd already won the amateur class. Oh, yeah. He's multi time world Rodney champion, Dick world grand been, champion. Rodney Dick had been. You know when I knew he was going to win that? When he come in. Mm -hmm. Up at Wood, up at Columbia. Yep. When he come through that gate over there, all I could say was, "Oh my God." What you got to remember about Rodney is, you know, he went to the stake with Shout twice. I mean, and he'd been there before. I remember one time they won four sets of roses when his dad was living on one night. Yeah. I was so proud of him because he, you know, they worked so hard. Ronnie Dick and his daddy and Susan. Buddy Dick. Susan was uh, oh, Susan yeah. a patient of my dad's. Susan was raised in Mount Pleasant, Tennessee. Her mother was the secretary of the high school of Mount Pleasant. And that made me feel just wonderful that Ronnie won. And I tell you what, Buddy Dick riding his daddy. Oh my God. He was a, he, I mean, he, horse was, trainer, he was a master horse trainer. Most humble human being you ever saw oh. in your life. Have more fun. Oh, we, yeah. Eating lunch when you talk to him, you, you can talk about cars or trucks. Uh oh. Cars, trucks, uh -oh. or horses. Uh oh. There he is. I am Jose. You can go out there and watch him, right? I'm going to tell you what, Jerry Harris, they could shoe this horse up right now. And he'd get it done. Oh, they, matter of fact, they don't want him to shoe him. David could throw them shoes on him right now, tack them on. Wesley could go out there and tack them on for uh, David, Uncle David, and step in there and win immediately. He's fatter, but just, I mean, we, what we, the last time we had three time world champion, we had Todd of the Town, he was a gelder. We got three time champ of the world, and it is. Shocking, not shocking, but uh, very abnormal yeah. that a big stake winner is such a big breeder. That son of a gun can do it. Look at here. Look at here. I All tell right. you what, 
I watched Honors win the four-year-old World Grand Championship, and he lapped the field in the running walk. Let me tell you what I saw. I saw him show at Cleveland, Tennessee when Justin Harris on his back. Nobody, and Justin Harris was right there. I've seen him every day. Mike Anman owned him. They sold him to McSwain. And these, Keith McSwain and Paige Edwards are wonderful. They donated that stud fee to the Ken Smiley Mile for the right. kids with cancer. God love look at this, look at it. You know, up in Columbia, at one of the shows, they, they had Honor sitting there and Gary was had his back to him. Mm -hmm. Honor's come up behind him and popped him to make him turn around. <laughs> the first time I ever got close to him was at Asheville. Keith said, come up, you gotta get, he's, you know, he's huge. Oh he's yeah. He's very big. He's a big, big horse. Oh, big geez. horse. But he's a Ryan Spears on the bottom side of pushover. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Let's go. Tell you, well, we, what we're going to do is we're going to take a short break for our sponsors, and we'll be right back with an interview from Carlisle Johnson. Yeah. Again, to win started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaze Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old grand championship, and then Jen would go on to win world championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Wynn is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once. And deliver to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. I don't want anybody to forget the winter circle. They have free shipping for any order over $100, and they do support our industry on a regular basis. So please remember the winter circle when you're getting your equine needs. It's Jerry Harris and Jim Fuller with the latest in the world of horses, including information and clips from area shows. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> Welcome back. What we got? Well, I went over the other day and I talked to Carlisle Johnson. Oh, love it. And, and then I went over and, and I, we just sat and did an interview and we yeah. went over everything they're going to do. And they have come up. Trainer show. Trainer show. Okay. Increased it to four days. They're going to have trivia. Uh, they're going to have they're going to have more vendors. Well, I tell you what, I, I'm not going to tell everything. Let him let him tell. We're going to let that's it. Let's go to the interview. I am here at the Trainers Building in Shelbyville, Tennessee, and I am with none other than longtime board member Carlisle Johnson. Good morning. And, uh, 
Carlisle, y'all well, getting ready for a big show? We are getting ready for a big show. Um, the 54th annual National Trainer Show is coming up in about three weeks. Mm -hmm. Well, I know it's a big job, but I want to let people know a little bit about Carlisle Johnson before we start. Uh, Carlisle not only is a board member, but now he has trained some pretty good winglings in the past, and I know that for a fact. But you also run a business which you cater to the walking horse industry, mainly at Betco. Betco Vet Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have since uh, sold that and now I'm retired. But yes, for 16 years. You got years, to retire? I, yeah, well, you know, that's kind of up for debate. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you say you retire, but it seems like you get more busy when you retire. But uh, yeah, I, it was a veterinary only pharmacy. First one in the state of Tennessee started in 2005. We did it for about 16 years. And uh, we were, we felt like we were welcomed by the community and the vets in the area and mm -hmm. had pretty good support and grew every year. So, yes, that was true. Uh, mm -hmm. And although um, I'm not really a board member, um, I have been uh, elected by the board to co-chair this year's trainer show with Dee Cantrell. Right. And so uh, I'm a co-chairman of it. Uh, uh, they wanted me to do it, and I, I told them, I said, man, it's been 20 years since I put on a show. So I said, I don't feel comfortable doing it by myself. And Dee has, Dee has um, been very, very, she's been very good at what she does. In fact, one of the things when we started this year, I want to say this uh, also, um, we decided that we wanted to try to do as good a job as we could. And we knew that to do that, it was going to probably be more than we could handle by ourselves. So we decided to form a committee. And I wanted to mention those, um, Beth Thomas, uh, Caitlin Rippey, uh, Sarah Smith, along with Melissa, the secretary of the tra trainers, and Dee myself, are the committee. And um, so far, and of course we kept uh, President Bill Young in line and, 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 and uh, informed of everything that we're doing. And um, out of all those women, you know, I've sort of have adopted the role of the gopher do. Do you know what a gopher do is? I, I'm, I'm fixed to find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, like, what I consider myself to gopher do, I'm the one that, that is the go, go for this and go for that, that and I do this and do that. Now, these women have done then a gopher. Then a gopher is what gopher, you're saying. Gopher, but do, you know, I had to add the go do. do too. <laughs> yeah, so, so these, these women have done a tremendous job uh, for the Trainers Association in putting this show together. We're not totally uh, through with it yet, but um, if it comes off the way we have it planned, it's going to be one of the best shows we've had in several years, I believe. All right. So well, I'm going to make a point, a statement about that. Go ahead. Uh, you know how women talk. Oh, yeah. Well, and this is a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. Uh, I had breakfast with uh, one of your judges the other day. Okay. And uh, I eat breakfast with Robbie quite often. Yeah. Me and her and Boyd and just a bunch of us. Okay. And uh, then George some more, but she said, you know, Carlisle is working hard on this. <laughs> now, that had to come from all the other women <laughs> yeah. that's on that committee letting her know how hard you're working on it. Well, well uh, you know, I'm, uh, I have done a little bit, but I, I just want to commend all the effort of everybody on this committee, how much they've worked. Uh, and, and, of course, Bill has actually helped a lot, too. Um, but but Bill's kind of like me, you know. He's he's kind of taking the advice my granddaddy gave me. He said, "Boy, if you want to help, get over and get out of the way." You that's know. It. And that's, so so Bill and I've kind of taken that role. Yeah. Well, I can tell you though, I've, I've helped with several shows. I helped with the Equine Education Day, and then especially for the different uh, charities for the for the kids. Right. And I can tell you, I do not envy what you're doing <laughs> at all, because it, it, I know the work that goes in, and I know the questions you get once people find out they can call you. Uh, you get every question under the sun, and, and so it, it's, it's no joy, but to me, the shows, and I'm going to point some things out that I've been told that y'all are doing. Number one, you're going to four days We're going to four rather days. than three to cut down on the time people are at the horse show each night, which I think is to be commended. I truly do. You're going to start at 6 o'clock. 
19 classes a night, I believe, somewhere. Correct. Y'all should be out of there by 10 or so. We, listen, we, we, Dee and I got our heads together, and we both, I tell you, it's been a privilege and, a, and a really a really fun thing to do to work. But she and I agree so much on so many things, and one of them was is that it's the things we wanted to accomplish for the show and for the Trainers Association. Uh, of course, we wanted to try to generate as much money. That's a given. But in order to do that, we wanted to, to put on a show that would um, reinvigorate attendance at the show and re um, in, 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 in energize, I guess would be the correct word to say there, for, for the spectators. If you're not training a horse or exhibiting a horse and you come to watch the show, it's just entertainment for right. those folks. And we have taken that approach. Um, I mean, of course, we want to put a great horse show on. But we also want those people that are coming to be spectators to be entertained. And there's certain downtimes, and there's nothing that kills a show worse than sitting there waiting for someone to come in the ring or somebody's getting off, has to put a shoe back mm -hmm. on, things like that. Right. So we're decided that we're going to do some things differently this year. And in those downtimes, and I'm going to kind of lead right into part of this, what we want to talk about was. Um, you know, we're going to, to um, ask trivia questions, and we'll probably do th maybe three, maybe four, I don't know, depending on time, you know, and, and, um, and another part of what I want to get into the, what we're trying to do is the, the, the audience or the spectators, but also to reinvigorize and invigorate the, the uh, businesses in our community. And so with this trivia, even though it's fun and exciting, uh, everybody's going to, I think, love it. We're also going to be able to promote local businesses because they have given gift cards to the winners or the people who answer the questions. Hey, that's and great. they're going to give they're going to give gift cards, and we're going to hand these gift cards out, telling who gave them and all this kind of stuff. So we're going to be able to promote local businesses at the same time providing fun for the spectators. So we think that's going to be good. Hey, it, it, it will be good. A lot of people, Carlisle. We, we did a program the other day called Just Living to where uh, I was asked to sit in on it and talk about the upcoming horse show and what the Trainers Association in this show means to Bedford County and surrounding areas. And we talked about the influx of taxes and everything, but people don't realize, but during the trainer show, there, there's going to be several, several thousand dollars brought in to Bedford County alone for taxes. Now that's, that's not right. ca counting, I'm, I'm in Tullahoma, but yeah. we feel it over there, the restaurants feel it. Yes. And this yes. is things that people need to realize that when you come to the horse show, it, 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 it's just a great thing to see what goes on and see the camaraderie and everything else. So it is, it is. And of course, you know, it's gradually coming back. Um, we, we, we have certain battles that we're still fighting, but it's gradually building back. Celebration is actually getting better and more people are attending and they're doing, they're going to be doing some fun things, I think, from what I've heard, you know, to try to get people back on the grounds during the daytime right. and stuff. And so, and this is, we're, we're just doing our part for the industry. You know, we're just one part, one facet of this industry, the Trainers Association, and and uh, and we're just trying to make this as fun and as good and as successful a show as we possibly can. Another thing that we're going to do this year uh, that they used to do at the celebration is that we're going to have some amateur judging, too. Um, you know, we, I guess we're trying to um, initiate, I guess, would mm -hmm. say some new blood, <laughs> so to speak, if you will. Uh, and we're going to have on Wednesday and Thursday night, there'll be three, three uh, amateur judges judging Wednesday and three Thursday. We'll, they will not be interacting with the judging at all. They'll right. all be separated. Uh, and we'll take those cards, compare them, and then we're going to um, reward the winner on Friday night and they'll get a little something for, for their efforts. And that's good. So that, that'll be good and, and it'll be kind of good for the crowd too to see who's, who was the best judge, you know. Yep. You, 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 I go out to Lady Leverage and talk to a lot of horse people. I mean, yeah. and, and one of the things that was stayed, said out at Lane one day was, if you want the best judging that's there, and you're at the celebration, go around and pick out 
five little of the little gray-headed ladies <laughs> that's got a book in their hand. And they said, then you open that book and look how they tied that class and you're probably going to have the winner. Yeah, yeah. And that <laughs> That's causes, exactly uh, right. People don't realize that a lot of people in the stands, they, they're judges. They, they they've been these, They've seen these horses for years, and they know. They know a good one when they see they it. They do. I, I've often said, and have said for many years, that those people in that West Grandstand at the celebration oh. are capable of judging the celebration. They just need to learn the rule book. That, That's well, all they learn the rule book, you know. and and but the cheering because when when they get when they get rowdy now, <laughs> if they get behind the horse, they get behind him. They do. And, they and do you know, there, there's one thing a lot of people don't realize. I don't know how many times. I do know that last year, you know, it didn't. But I can remember back when we first started. Uh, Rowdy Rev had won the, the trainer show, and uh, I was told that probably going to be the horse that wins the celebration, and it was. Now last year, uh, Roses won, uh -huh. and uh, of course didn't win the celebration, but he went on to win several shows during the year. Sure. So there's a good chance that a lot of the horses that we see at the trainer show we're going to see several times through the year. Exactly. And we're going to see them at the come celebration time. Yes, They're going to be right back in there. It's going to be a great uh, yardstick for, uh, for those who follow the horse. Right. You know, to start off with the trainer show and, and see who's the winners and, and watch them throughout the year to see how they end up at the celebration. That's a great yardstick mm -hmm. for those people that do that. So now you've got some other bullets they done told me she said i'll get with him and we'll have some bullets that we want to go well, over i do want to talk just a minute though a thing that that the trainers have, have adopted and 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 d and i agreed and we carried it before the board you know that we wanted to do this and the board voted to to do it and they thought it was a good thing to do and we have aligned ourselves with a charitable group um, this year it's the center for um, uh, family development Benita Caldwell is actually the director of that, and this this uh, organization is just about in every county in, in Middle Tennessee, and it's a great great organization. Um, they help in parenting uh, homes. Um, they recognize problems with families, and they go in and assist in any way that they need to. They also have this relative program where. Uh, relatives will go in and take care of ch ch kids that need a home rather than allowing them to go into the um, the state custody and foster, and, home. and foster homes and things and so and they try to help those people as much as they can they're always needing money and they do a great job and um, I know I'm, I'm glad and proud to be associated with them and so a certain percent of our proceeds is going to go to help mm -hmm. them out and I think it is a worthy cause and Certainly, uh, the board evidently did too because they didn't even hesitate. They said, "Yeah, that's going to happen." And I'm going to tell you something else. Uh, it, it has ha actually helped our show as well because when you say that you're going to, uh, you tell them, and we're part of this is going to go to a charitable group, it makes giving so much easier. I mean, well, they want to give. They that, that's give. fantastic. Yeah, man, it is. So, uh, but anyway, um, you know, Carlisle, I'm going to just say this right quick. Uh, the, knowing. I do not know of one horse show that does not support. Because through the years, y'all y'all may not have a designated, but I know years ago, Feed the Children. And right. through the years, it, it's done different things. But I have watched the trainers carry Christmas gifts. I've watched them do a little bit of everything. When we did the equine education, there was not one trainer that said they was too busy. Every one yeah. of them said, yes, we come. But when you get to helping children, it's like that's one thing that makes Alabama so great. Yeah. Camp Smile about. Yeah. And those people now they come out of the woodwork. They do. And they I'm do. this right here is <laughs> is to see the joy on a little kid's face. Oh. And and because if you you've got different things, Haven of Hope and different places that support families that that need the support yes uh, but something like this now i'm i'm telling you it, it's it's needed it is and needed. but benita caldwell i mean she, she's like an angel when she's floating by <laughs> so uh 
that, that's a great, that, to me, that is a great charity for the trainers to be about because when you look at it, there's nothing that I like better than see a little kid oh. on a big horse. And I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that 100%. And these, these people here do a marvelous job of what they do. We've talked with Benita. Benita, of course, we've known Benita. She's lived in the horse business for a long time. And, and I didn't really realize until I got affiliated with this that she was the director. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And, and it's really uh, been um, a, a receptive, real receptive thing to be able to work with her on this. And she's done, she's helped us and, and going to help us to do some things. Uh, and uh, we hope that we can help her a lot as well. Now, let's talk about the show. Oh, right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> the show is going to be uh, March the 16th through the 19th. And like you said, we used to be three days, we're going to four days now. Um, and we're not going to have more than 19 classes per night, which means all you folks listening in, that if you hesitant about being out late at night, you can forget that because we're going to try to get you home no later than 11 o'clock. Well, so, so we're going to try to try to uh, keep the show moving, keep it fun and exciting. Uh, also, a little warning to the trainers: we're probably going to have a time clock on the gate. So we're going to try to keep this thing rolling uh, and, and, and not have much downtime when they're coming in. So we'll probably do that. Um, for the, and, and we've got 79 classes. We've got 29 Riders' Cup classes, five times the ridership uh, uh, points. Um, the um, uh, office, I guess, here will be on the grounds. So it'll be open from 9 to 12, you know, if you want to register and from three to six. Um, you can register those. Uh, have to be registered by noon. Cannot be any scratches after three o'clock. So uh, that's just some things that, for that. We're gonna have some great vendors. Um, we were just talking to Mel a while ago. Um, we've got probably more than twice as many vendors this year as we did last year. That's good. That's, that's really good. good. That's really good. Um, and so we're gonna have a lot of vendors around. Uh, we've talked with breeders, they're going to have their satellite office open on the grounds. Uh, but people need to go by, ask a question, visit with them. Um, also, a little heads up to trainers, if you, if, if you want to join the breeders, they're, gonna, they're offering a discount <laughs> to trainers to join. So go by there and, and support the breeders. Um, and um, also just a reminder to the trainers that your license is due the Saturday the 19th. So. Now would be a good time while you're here at the show and showing to take care of that little bit of business. But, um, but anyway, we just really hope to have um, a good show this year. Um, we got a lot of local businesses involved. Um, we're going to be fun. Uh, and we just want everyone to try to come out. And, well, that, that's and the I do want to add one thing to what you said, though, because it, to me, in Bedford County, especially, this is important. Uh -huh. You had said that Benita was affiliated with the horse industry in the yeah. past. You're going to be surprised how many charities and nonprofits that you look at in Bedford County and surrounding areas that the people who donate their time and a lot of times their money to help a charity are members of the walking horse industry. I agree. I agree. And you can find Virginia Stewart, others. They're all over the place, and these are people that they care, and uh, they do care, and they love the horses. Mm -hmm. They do, and, and 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 if you want to look at it this way, by supporting this show, you're you're accomplishing both goals. You're helping the horse you love and the, the charity, you know, part and of the it. businesses so, and the businesses too. So it's a win-win for anybody that that wants to get involved in it, um, and we're really thankful. We've been blessed as a committee. Uh, for the response that we've had, um, and uh, we just want we just want to try to put on a good show for everybody to come and enjoy. We right. really do, sure do. Well, well, Carlisle, I appreciate you taking your time. And ladies and gentlemen, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, Cal Sonic starts at six o'clock. If you want to support a great charity, especially the trainers, because the trainers are a charity, believe me, buddy. They they work hard and get very little recognition, come to the trainer show and you're going to see the best of the best, I promise. Yes,
And if you need to call the office, it's uh, 684-5866 is the number to the, to the office, or you can email at whtrainers at gmail.com. Get any kind of information you need. You got that, folks? Thank you, Carl. All right, thank you. Thank you Appreciate for having us. All right. Awesome. Tell you what we're gonna great. Do. That was a great interview. I love that. We're going to go straight to commercial. Do it. We'll be right back. <laughs> You made the time and the sacrifice to broaden their horizons, to see their smiles, but mostly to make lifelong memories. We think it's time to do it again, just the two of you. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. It's Jerry Harris and Jim Fuller with the latest in the world of horses, including information and clips from area shows. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> Welcome back. Tommy? What we got? We got some video from uh, no, from uh, East Tennessee. Up uh, Snapwood. 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 I tell you what. Snapwood delivered. They always delivered. Where's Snapwood? My hat goes off to Jimbo. Man. He's put on a show. But tell us what we got here. So I'm going to come out the center though. This guy right, this is uh, Clay Sanderson on one. We're going to, I don't know all these. That's uh, Lake on one. Like Weaver, he has one up there that's called Rock Something Whatever. He was fabulous. This is, uh, they sold 15. So what you see is a video of them. This is the Matt Kilgore code. This is I Am Inevitable. All right, this is a, a code that uh, Scotty Beatty uh, had up there. He sold big. Look at the back end on this thing. Well, they sold over seven hundred thousand dollars. Seven hundred thousand dollars worth. That is that Jeremiah big coat. Uh, I think that's millionaire row or whatever. But he can step. You you hear me talking? Okay. This this is R. M. Kelly on a coat. Uh, you R. M. C. R. M. Yep. All right, he's on, he's probably a perfect hawk coat. I don't have any information in front of me. i tell you what. Tell okay, you. this is a mare. Sky Command. That's the Sky Command mare. They Legacy sold her Sky for Command. big money. I think that's from Grider. Born Legacy. Born Legacy. I'll tell you what, I, I was Legacy. hearing a lot of positive Oh my comments. God, they sold a bunch for a bunch of money. Let me tell you what we got. I mean, they sold it for $700,000 worth. And I mean, everybody says, well, maybe, maybe not. No, uh, they Reedy, did. Pleasant Valley, they, this is Hill. one that uh, Rippy, yeah. the Pleasant one guy, right. you know, Andy Rippy, he bought in on this one. That's Hayden Burks right there uh, next to the uh, coat. Tell you what, a lot of these flat shop people, they see these horses, they say, hey, Knock them pads off. That I got me a winner there. You know what? Half of them are start with pads anyway. Mm. One of the best things that came back to Bedford County was a mare that R.M. Kellett had that Spencer sold to uh, uh, Link Webb, Austin. That, that is the best mare. This is Al Shot right here. We saw this one last night. All right, this is Chad Way. Now watch, this is the IM code, I think. This is Chad Way on this IM. Sit back there and crank now. 
Chadway, the doctor. What? Look at this thing. That's the one that sold. Oh, that's my. No, I don't think he even sold. No, it did. Did he? Yes, Look that's here. That's the one that sold. This is the owner. Look here. The doctor. You know who that horse is reminding me of? Who? The Heisman. Yeah. Grider. I think this is the Grider guy. That's a perfect hog coat. My what. video's not great. I, I apologize. I mean, I, I did. I was trying to do 40 things at one time. Well, I'm okay. I'm, I wish perfect. I could video this mayor. The mayor that Link Webb brought back to Shelbyville, she is. She may be the greatest mayor I ever looked at in my life. This is Scotty Batty. But the mayor the Austin's bought that Link Webb had. All right, this is Wesley, my son, on cruise. This is walk time cruise. He was kind of swinging that day. Watch him. Look here. You're going to see Blaze Picard showing him this year in two year class. That he's walk time cruise. That's Wes. This is Renaro Green on one from. A good coat. I don't know exactly. You know, I've got all the documents in my thing. All right, right here. That's Al Shy. Those Al Shies do great. I mean, they got a lot of horses up there. Oh Lord, yeah. Buffy, and then this is the brother. I tell you what, it, Brandon, what, all of them. What is impressing me? Yeah, people are buying horses. Oh gosh, yeah. That but, place. What you don't see is what's behind me. Yeah. And that, this place is packed. There's 1,100 people in there. Easy. Well, to me, that, that says that these people know yeah. that we have a horse All right, that this is, is in this great is Keith shape. Becknell. This is Keith Becknell riding right here. Well, that, that these are, it just tells me, Tommy, that Now, the er, you know, everybody, know. everybody's a pessimist. Yeah. Everybody, you know, I am too. I saw the list, and the list was realistic. You had one about 150 and others. The ri the list was real, and it was seven hundred thousand dollars. Fifteen of them, and uh, the girl um, run, uh, that works for the report, she, she probably took 15 pictures in the school. Mm -hmm. Everybody, I'm just impressed that they're selling because oh, that, that like shows confidence in the people. And and what I'm getting at is this: we know how well our horses treat. Yeah. And I'm, I'm for one, I'm, I'm tired. I'm no. tired of what the, the, well, the Humane Society is out of the picture now. You never see them anywhere. They've got the APC, APSCP or whatever it is. 30 they, seconds. I know. But we got to wind it up. Hey, it just, I, I get tore up talking about it. <laughs> I know. Uh, I can catch them in a lie just like that. Our producer says we got 15 seconds. Well, now what I'm we got? Tell, what I'm what we tell can say producer, in 15 seconds? I'm gonna tell the producer. That I love it. We'll love see. It. We'll see y'all next week. <laughs> How's that? Do Have it. a good weekend. Y'all take care. We'll see you. At the Spencer Benedicts. That's, that's, that's where we're headed. Spencer Benedicts next. <laughs>